I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them baby like a mules. Play them like the ones and two. Wow, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby, aka Where'd This Beard Go? Oh, buddy! <sighs> what do you want me to do, man? The beard was getting out of control, dead gum. I didn't want to go this low with it, but it, give it a week, it'll be back. By the next Blu-ray update, it'll be back, okay? Appreciate everybody stopping by the channel. If you've not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. We're here, man. 42 pickups. Tons of stuff. Screen factory overload. Blu-ray. Um, cats. Uh, uh, catalog titles. Cheap-ass titles. Um, 4Ks. Got a box set in this bitch. You hear me? We're ready to get it crack a lacking in this piece, okay? Now, some of these are regits. A lot of these aren't, though. A lot of these are new, is new stuff. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, subscribe to the Triple Flicks Mafia. And subscribe to Slasher Junkie. Um, this is the first movie-related video I've done in about a week. I apologize for that. I've just been doing battle rap stuff and doing some stuff on my other channels. But I got y'all, man. I'm here. Okay. More content coming. Just stay tuned. Huge Black Friday haul coming at the end of the month. I've got more stuff trickling in, but I wanted to do this before we got too ridiculous. Okay. First thing I want to show you is a documentary that just came out. I'm obsessed with this documentary. I've watched it 10 times on Netflix, on ESPN, and now I bought the Blu-ray set, and that is The Last Dance. Such a dope set. We're going to try to get through this stuff quick because there's so many things. Um, this, I'm just not a big fan of this this style of like how they did it. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's like that old Curb Your Enthusiasm style packaging. I would have been fine with just standard Blu-ray cases inside of there. The box is really nice, though, Clark. But if y'all haven't got this yet, at least watch it on Netflix, man. It's the best documentary I've ever watched. I love it. That's The Last Dance. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to show you the catalog titles. Now, I've been on a cheese fest. I, I went through so many horror movies in, in October. I said, well, I'm still going to watch horror movies, but I'm this in November, I'm trying to watch action movies, man. That's kind of been what the kick that I'm on. And then in next month, I'll be doing Christmas movies, Christmas horror movies. But I've been on an action kick. I've been watching a lot of action stuff. Um, and I found some cheap-ass action movies at Walmart. My girl got me some of them. I got some of these. And we're going to run right through them, okay? Um, the first one actually isn't an action movie. It's a horror or it's a comedy. Um, but I'm going to do a franchise review of all these. I've got one, two, three, four... And five, I've got all of them now with this one. Scary Movie 4. I'm sure it's terrible, but it's just like six bucks on eBay. Brand new. Doesn't have a digital. For some reason, one, two, three I have on Voodoo when I bought that, that tri uh, triple pack. Five I bought on Voodoo, but the four is not on Voodoo. So I had to get the physical copy, so I got all five of them. Um, I'll watch them at some point. I've seen the first two, and I think they're really funny. But cheap, just like good like parody shit. Um, this next one, I have part one on 4K. I had this box set at some point, and then I, uh, I sold it to Skeggs. Once the first one came out on 4K, thanking the rest would, and I haven't seen anything about the other ones coming out anytime soon. Plus, it was cool to just get the digital copies of all these. It's the Die Hard 5-pack. Uh, this was like $17.99 or something. Um, I just got it for two, through two, three, four, and 5 um, I already have part one on 4K, so and get the digitals. So, and after I, wa I watched the first two diehards um, a couple weeks ago, and it got me on a. I was like, man, I'm gonna start finding some more like cheesy action stuff. And me and my girl was at the uh, Walmart, and they had these for five dollars a piece. Now these are those Lionsgate situations, and uh, I've watched two of them, and I'm actually gonna be honest with you, they're not that terrible. First one is um, 10 Minutes Gone. This is Bruce Willis and Michael Chiklis. Again, these were five bucks with the digital. This actually isn't a terrible action movie. I was expecting it to be really bad, but it actually was pretty pretty fun. Um, Bruce Willis is just in this bag. I don't know how much child support he owes or alimony or whatever it is he owes, but he's pumping out these movies on Lionsgate like he's, like he's got a, a death date coming or something. I don't know. But 10 Minutes Gone, not too bad. This is another one that was five bucks. I haven't watched it yet, but it doesn't look like it'd be too bad. It's Trauma Center. Again, this was like five dollars. 
I think this may have been from last year, 2019, yeah. Five bucks, man, I'm not mad at them, especially when you can throw the digital on your Voodoo as well. So this one was, I think was 750. This is from 2020, and I'm also trying to get a bunch of 2020 movies watched this month, because I'm not gonna probably watch a bunch in December. I'm gonna be watching a lot of Christmas movies. Um, and this is another one from 2020 I need to throw on my list. Survive the Night, this is uh, Bruce Willis and Ch Chad Michael Murray. Again, not expecting a lot out of it, but it was cheap, so she picked that up for me. And then this one, <laughs> this is another one from 2020. Another one that was cheap, just came out I think. And it's called Force of Nature. Look at your boy Mel Gibson on the cover of this. That looks insane. I've heard actually this is this isn't too bad. I heard there's not much of a storm. It's supposed to be like a storm and a crime going on at the same time. Um, they said there's not much of a storm, but I'm sure it's really ridiculous overacting. But I'm in that mood for this month, especially with like the, you know being a fan of like action movies. This looks more like a suspense thriller, but it's another one for 2020. I watched this one today, and I was expecting this to be unwatchable. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was fun. It's ridiculous. But it's, it's primal with Nicolas Cage. I told myself, when this came out, when I worked in-store at Best Buy, I was like, there's no way I'll spend over $7 for this movie. If this movie ever goes in a $5 bin somewhere, I'll pick it up. And it was, at five, it was in a $5 section at Walmart with the digital and all that. So this movie actually is fun. It's ridiculous, though. It, the CGI, like... Uh, Tiger is unbelievably bad. Nicolas Cage is classic, terrible Nicolas Cage, but I wouldn't want it any other way with Nicolas Cage, though. Look at that cover. Look at that. It's fun, though. I can't lie. It's fun. I think I'm going to count that as a 2020 movie. It said the release date was January or December the 31st, 2019. I'm just going to put it as 2020 because they because I saw somewhere where it said it came out in 2020. The first week of January, so I don't know. Uh, this one right here, this one was five bucks. This actually was a fun comedy. I watched it a couple days ago. Uh, Instant Family. I mainly got this because Tom Segura's in it, and he's my favorite comedian. Um, and it's just, I just like seeing him in movies. He's not in a lot, but uh, yeah, it was actually pretty fun. It's not like a R-rated like Will Ferrell like raunchy comedy, but it's like a PG-13 one. But it, it's funny though. And Rose Burns a giggity. This one right here I picked up mainly just because I wanted to, uh, to get the Voodoo copy of it. And the, just buying the Voodoo itself is ridiculous. Um, Jackie Brown, this is like six bucks. They put this back out. Miramax did. Um, I don't know when Tarantino films are going to come out on 4K. There's no announcements of them coming out. Other than Once Upon a Time, there's no other 4Ks from Quentin Tarantino. So I want to do his like rankings video like I did with John Carpenter um, so we'll see or not John Carpenter but uh, Rob Zombie Jackie Brown boom so we got through the catalog titles and the box set now we're gonna go to 4k's some of these um, well let's see three of these are regifts the rest of them are stuff I've never had these are just early Black Friday deals I picked up picks midway back up this is actually a really fun one um, this is another one I watched, uh, what's today, Thursday? I think I watched it Sunday or Monday, I can't remember. All my days run together when I work from home. But um, it's a lot of fun, man. The action in it, I mean, it's freaking never stops for two hours. But definitely worth picking it up. If you're thinking about getting it on Black Friday, go ahead and, and get it. I don't, it was like $7.99. I don't know if it's back up now. But definitely one you should pick up if you like action movies. Picked up Overlord. This one's such a good movie, man. Um, and actually still had the slipcover, which was an act from God. I haven't seen a slipcover on this for months. Um, it's more like, kind of like Resident Evil mixed with like a war film. I saw it in the theater and liked it a lot. And yeah, man, it's a fun one. This is another one that was dirt cheap. I think it was like part of the $7.99 or $9.99, one of the two. And this one right here, dude. The last 15 minutes of this movie is one of the most nerve-wracking things I've ever watched. And that's Argo, uh, Ben Affleck. If you've not seen this movie granted it's not really my style of movies because it's like a political style movie and it's not usually what I would like but it's done very well and it just keeps you on the edge of your seat especially the last 15 20 minutes when they're trying to escape it's it's pretty crazy man Argo that was like eight or nine bucks all right and this these um, this one right here 
I haven't seen this yet. I can't even remember if this is considered a 2020 or a 2019. Didn't have any desire to see it in the theater, but I always said if it ever comes up cheap, I'll pick it up. And it was $7.96, and that's Birds of Prey. Um, I'm not expecting to like this a whole lot, but for I mean, just for just for that price, it's worth checking out. Um, I can't remember what year this is from, bro. If it's 2019 or 2020, Rona has just messed all that up. But yeah, for that price, you can't turn it down really. Um, these next three, Amazon and um, Target are doing buy two get one free. I don't do from I don't get from Target, really, because their shipping's ridiculous. It takes forever. It takes like two weeks. Um, so I just get them off Amazon, and I actually got four movies for the price of two because one of them is a two pack. First one is District Nine. Really do dig this one. This is a Bloom Camp one, Neil Bloom Camp. Um, I like this movie a lot, and this being a Sony title, don't expect it to have a slipcover for very long. Sony's really weird about that. They don't put them, it's almost like that first initial thing that they send to the stores, and then after that, you can't find them. This movie's really dope, though, and it's going to be a $10 title on Black Friday, but it equaled out to being cheaper, me doing it the way I'm doing this, honestly, for these four, so District 9. Next one is Full Metal Jacket. I think this is another one that's going to be cheaper. But again, with this buy two, get one, it, it equaled out to about the same. Love the first half of this movie. The second half, not so much, but I still like it. But that first half, you can't beat, man. Stanley Cooper. This next one is a two-pack, and it was uh, my free one. And that is a two-pack of Gladiator and Braveheart. These are just the 4Ks and the digitals, which that's all I really cared about. I mean, um, I have noticed that a couple of times when I purchased 4Ks from Amazon... They've come with the slit. One of them was for um, three hundred. Sorry for that brain fart, which I got. It's in here somewhere. So the the paper was slit on the side. It turns out somebody had opened the side of it and stolen the digital copy out of it. So it was a whole ordeal. I, I contacted Amazon and. They basically said, well, you can return it. I was like, I'm not returning. It was a free one. It was my free one. So it was a whole ordeal. Luckily, I ended up getting a code for it off Facebook. Somebody threw me a code for it when I told them what was going on just because they were cool people. But, yeah, so be on the lookout for that on Amazon if you're buying, uh, like, 4Ks. I've seen a couple that were slit. And the, the one of mine that was slit had the code in it, and it worked. But gla uh, 300 did not. Somebody stole the code out of it. Bastards. But, yeah, Gladiator Braveheart. And, uh, I'm gonna. Sorry about that guy that was getting a call. But yeah, here's 300. Pick, like I said, that's part of the one that, um, that's the one that when I opened it up, sure enough, that's, that plastic was just slid all the way down the side of it. So shoo shoo, man. People are ridiculous. But glad to have that one, man. And just I'll be on the lookout for that though, if you're getting from Amazon. Next up, we got one that I've been waiting for to drop. Uh, it got to about 35 bucks, and I was like, that's probably about as cheap as you're going to find it. Unless you were lucky enough to get it off of that Groove page on eBay that was $10, some price glitch. But Back to the Future Trilogy. I wish they would have just did individual releases with the cases. I'm not a big fan of this style. They've done it with the Blu-ray one multiple times, and I, but it is what it is. The first one I did watch, um, and it looks so dope, man. It looks so good on 4K. But yeah, Back to the Future trilogy. And last on the 4Ks from Vinegar Syndrome. I already did a review for this. I watched it on Shudder. Deadly Games Dial Code Santa Claus um, is the other title. Really dope like presentation on this one. Jordan and Tony weren't really fans of it. I did like it the first watch. I did a review for it on the Triple Flicks Mafia channel. I'm going to see how it holds up on the second watch. But that slipcover is... Unbelievable, dude. That looks really good. Um, but yeah, I'll rewatch it in December. See how see how it holds up on the second watch. But that's all the 4Ks. Now we're gonna get into Scream Factories. There's a ton of them. A lot of it, almost 90% of it, was buy two get one free stuff from Amazon. So we're gonna try to get through it quick. Before we get to the Amazon stuff, though, my I ordered two movies from Orbit DVD. Shout out to Orbit DVD. They got stuck in Memphis for like three and a half weeks. Finally got to me. 
Um, they were in good shape. wasn't there wasn't Orbit DVD's fault. It's good old USPS fault. But got Road Games and Silver Bullet. Um, Silver Bullet so good. 1985. Corey Haim, R.I.P. Um, Gary Busey. I, I really do dig that one, man. And then you got Road Games, which I haven't ever seen. Um, 1981. You got Jamie Lee Curtis and Stacy Keach. Directed by Richard Franklin. Really cool artwork, too, on the front. Joel Robinson. Why, of course, it's dope. Got those. These next three. Now, this is where we're going to start the buy two, get ones. Picked up the craft. Um, I have no desire to see that new Bloomhouse remake bullcrap, but I um, wanted to get that one back and have it with the slips. Pretty rare, I heard. It's, the weird thing, too, about this Amazon deal is that every day it would change as to what was buy two, get one free. It One day, certain ones were, and one day they weren't. So it was weird. So just be on the lookout for that, too. This next one is actually a Shout Select. I love this movie. I got it back when Target used to have that $5 section. Skeggs always told me how good it was. Um, and it's so good, man. That's Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Um, got Pacino, Jack Lemmon, Alec Baldwin, Ed Harris, Alan Arkin, Kevin Spacey. So many p good people in this. Alec Baldwin steals this movie, man. It's about real estate uh, salesman. Yeah. I didn't even know it had a slipcover with it, too. I know Shout Select's weird about that. But, yeah, glad to pick that up, man. That was part of that sale. And then this was my free one. This movie's terrible, but it didn't call. It was my free one, and um, I'm going to be doing At some point, I'll do a franchise review of all these. RoboCop 3. This movie's so bad. The fact that it even got a slipcover still just proves that it's not that... Good because this movie's so it's been out on Screen Factory for years, bro. That's from Amazon. I got it with the slipcover. So those slipcover alone go for like twenty bucks a piece on Robocop three, which is ridiculous. But it was a freebie. So got those. Here's my next set of buy two get ones. Picked up House on Haunted Hill. The the last ten minutes of this movie ruined it for me. I I, I do like it okay. But it gets really weird at the end. But at some point, I'll watch it again. I wanted to kind of do some kind of video of talking about all these, like, 1999, 2000 horror movies that came out, you know? Um, but, yeah. And that that one's really hard to find with the slipcover, too. And then we picked this one up, 10 to Midnight. That's just what's so random about it, because this one came out way after RoboCop 3 did. But they must have sold more of these. I don't know. Um, Charles Bronson, 1983. Oh, Mr. Death Wish himself, R.I.P. And then my free one. This movie is really bad. But again, when I picked those up, I was trying to find something to get for free. And a lot of the stuff I'd either already had or wasn't part of the deal. So we got this piece of shit that's uh, Escape from L.A. So, I mean, it is what it is, bro. You're trying to get them back, aren't you, Chad? You're going to have to deal with it. The good thing is you didn't pay for this one. And I would have never paid for it. Um, this movie is not good at all. But Hugh Fleming did the uh, artwork for that. It's not all that good. I couldn't even get the artwork right. But free 99 baby. Next up, here's my next set of buy two, get one freeze. We picked up uh, Orca the Killer Whale. I didn't get this on the first go around. It never was part of the buy two, get one. And then I, as soon as I saw it go on part of the deal, I jumped on it. The very next day, it wasn't. Again, it's so random. Um, never seen it, but I heard it's really dope. Uh, and there's no features on that at all. That's what's so weird is that Screen Factory charges like 20 25 bucks for this movie with no features on it. No collector's edition. Again, it, it made sense for this situation because it's part of that buy two, get one. But it's so weird, man. And then pick this one up. I really dig this one, man. Really weird one, but it's an old Scream Factory Collector's Edition, Phantom of the Paradise. Look how weird this one is. What the heck is that on the back? Um, this one's a very old Scream Factory. One of the first runs with the blue top slipcovers. 1974. Weird one, but I got to say, man, I really did enjoy it when I watched it. Um, so don't don't look over this one. Just know, because I don't give nothing about like musicals and stuff like that. But this is done well. It's like a good like horror. I think they did a good job with it, man. It's Phantom of the Paradise. And on this one, my free one was Night of the Comet. Um, again, I've seen this once. I don't remember it being outstanding, but it was a freebie. So just to go ahead and grab another collector's edition back. 1984. 
it's more of like a sci-fi action but all right so we got those this one is one that got stuck in the mail for a month and a half from ebay finally picked it up luckily it was in perfect condition because it was packaged well but this one was stuck in memphis for almost three and a half weeks man terror train with the slip um slips and now is in perfect condition i know that this got another release to another company but i just love this this screen factory edition man and this is another one that's really tough to find this one was about 30 i think 30 bucks or something like that but um yeah terror train and finishing out i've got five more to show you um this is another one that was buy two get one we got the crush with um alicia silverstone got that picked up this one i really do dig man 1982 um 1983 sorry tons of different like tons of actors in this one too final tear this is another one early one of those early combo packs you got um daryl hannah adrian smed from bachelor party you get um joey pants joey Pantoliano. It's directed by Andrew Davis, who did Under Siege and The Fugitive. So, this is another one, man. If you've never seen it, give it a shot. Um, it's a cheap one. I think it's like $13, $14. So, it's, it's worth it. So, we got that one. And then I picked up... This was my free one. Final Exam. We talked about this in my 1981 video. It's just... I mean... is straight to the point as you need to be for a slasher movie. Movie starts, people start getting their fucking heads cut off. I mean, it is what it is. And last but not least, we got two more. Pick this back up. This one's a fun one. It's a weird one, but it's fun. Witchboard. It was like one of those flash deals. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon. And they were running, the, I guess from where I've been buying so many, they've been giving me coupons and stuff too that I can redeem at the checkout. But I haven't seen the sequel. I don't know. I haven't heard too many good things about the sequel. 1986. So, that one. And last but not least, one I've never had. Another one that's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Early one, I believe. Um, this is from 85. I really dug this one, man. Good cheesy horror movie. Hellhole. This is one from Screen Factory. Um... Nobody that's you're not, you're gonna know as far as like actors or directors or anything, but Joe Bob says check it out, man. So listen to Joe Bob and Chatty Bob. Hell holes a it's a good cheese, hot chicks, good kills. I enjoyed it, man. It's one that I always just looked over. I just kind of forgot, but um, I enjoyed it though. That's Hell Hole. So boom, man. Forty two pickups later. Hopefully we wasn't in your hair too long today. Please subscribe to the channel. Keep this thing moving. If you're a fan of horror movie content, subscribe to Triple Flicks Mafia. Subscribe to Slasher Junkie. I also do podcast compilations. I'm a huge uh, comedy podcast fan, and I do it just for fun. If you're a fan of comedy podcast, I've got a, a compilation channel that I do. Again, I just do it for the fun of it because I love doing it. Um, it'll be in the description box as well. Thank y'all so much for the continued support, man. More content coming soon. Got some battle rap stuff coming soon this weekend. And then we're going to be doing movie stuff as well. So just stay tuned, baby. I love you. Love, peace, and hair grease. Woo.